Hello YouTube, hello NFL fans, hello Bear fans. This is a uh, this is good Bears video. I want you guys to watch a minute of it. I like to do a shout out to uh, um, Electric Football. Um, they've added four people to their picks weekly picks now. It's a great show, and I love the fourth person they've added, the Bear fan. <laughs> I love it, man. Go for it. Um, electric football. You guys, you watch the show, you're going to love it. If you like the old inside of the NFL, you'll like the electric football. I'd like to do a shout out to Ghost to Judah Tribe. Ghost to Judah Tribe did a special video for me, what I'm going through, and he gives advice that's good, and then I listen to it. I'd like to do a shout out to uh, uh, Joey D. Uh, the Bears beat down. I like to do a shout out to uh, Joey D. Um, he's a true bear fan. All these are good bear fans, you know. I love to uh, shout out to these guys. Listen, um, let's get back to the Bears story here. Uh, we're three and three right now. Mitch is coming off injury. You know, a lot of bad things happen to people coming off injury. Be it running back, wide receiver, even quarterback. You know, maybe Mitch is not 100% yet. But uh, it doesn't call for what's happening right now with the NFL and uh, against the Bears. Um, Coach Nagy uh, is doing the play calling. What I saw against New Orleans is not good play calling. Uh, I know he didn't let Mitch run the ball, but if Mitch would have ran the ball one time, he would have gave the quarterback himself up one time. Uh, it, would have, it would have put the offense in a better mindset, saying that the quarterback run the ball, actually he would have gave himself up for the offense. He would have got the offense more motivated. Um, what's going on with the offensive running game is, is pathetic. Um, Ghost of Judah Tribe, um, had a suggestion. He suggests that, um, uh, Cordell Patterson would have ran the ball more effective than Montgomery. Listen, you give him the ball to Montgomery all the time, all the time. You're putting a lot of burden on the rookie's uh, uh, shoulders. Um, you got you got five running backs, okay? You got five running backs, Coach Nagy. Now needs to be played. Cordell Patterson needs to be played. You got that boy from Seattle. Play him. You, you, you got other people that are waiting in line to run the ball. Okay, Coach Nagy, make a decision now. If you can't run the ball with Montgomery, use Patterson. Use now. Okay, use that boy from Seattle. You've got other people waiting to run the ball. Run the ball. Run the ball. You've got other ways to run the ball. Okay, run the ball. To, to, to draft... Uh, now and put him on the bench for three years it is pitiful. This guy explodes off the offensive line. He he attacks the defense. Okay, try now. Okay, um, Patterson. Patterson goes after the defense. Run the ball, Patterson. Run the ball now. Okay, that'll open things up big time. All right. Um. Jeez, um, listen, um, if, 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 uh, if we lose to San Diego, well, the uh, L.A. Chargers, this would be my last video, because if we lose to San Diego, uh, I'm done. I'm not going to be done loving the Bears, because I love the Bears more than our life itself, okay? Me, me, me I mean that. But I put myself on the YouTube, laying my heart out, laying my mind out. It's just, it's overwhelming. 
Okay, um, thank God for Walter Payton. All right, Walter Payton did have no negative game. He carried the Bears through some of the worst times ever. Jimmy Mack didn't have great games, okay? Jimmy Mack had bad games, but Walter carried the team, okay? We, we were respectable in every game because of Walter Payton. Thank God for Walter Payton. All right, uh, man, there's only one Walter Payton. You know, I mean, uh, these other backs and stuff, they come and go, but Walter, uh, <laughs> what can I say, man? Thank God for Walter Payton. Even when we got blown out, Walter Payton ran the ball. He carried the Bears. Walter Payton was a running back, a fullback, a wide receiver. He even played quarterback. Thank God for Walter Payton. I tell you what, um, what can I say? Coach Nagy, you're, you're not a guru that everybody thinks you are. You're not the best offensive coordinator. <laughs> you're not the best offensive coordinator. Um, Maybe you need to hand the offensive coordinating to a different, uh, a different uh, person. Uh, Ghost already brought that up. I don't know, man. What can I say? You know, uh, our defense got tired. During that New Orleans game, our defense got tired. When you go three and out, 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 our defense got tired. They couldn't make a move. Chuck, Chuck Pagano's is doing all right. He's not. He's not. Uh, he's not uh, a good replacement. He's not a great replacement. Okay, he's a good replacement. He's not a great replacement for our defense. But our defense got tired, man. When you keep on going three and out, man, you're putting a lot on the defense. I know Akeem Hicks is gone, but we're, we're missing greatly. Up the middle, he was the best. A beast up the, up the middle, he was the best. Akeem Hicks, we're going to have to uh, go, uh, get around him being gone and make changes. We got good defensive players, man. Mitch coming off injury, might have had a bad game. Okay, but somewhere in that third quarter, somewhere early in that third quarter, maybe Dan Daniels put back in the ball game. You know, you saw that Mitch wasn't having a great game. Uh, there's a lot of things that people can do, you know, to to make a team right. And Coach Nagy, uh, I don't know, man, <laughs> you're hard headed. You hard-headed Coach Nagy. You got 53 men to use all 53 men. You got one on the practice squad needs to be a starter. No! <laughs> I know I keep saying that. You'll see what I mean if you ever plug in a man. If you ever plug in now, you'll see he attacks the offensive uh, scrimmage line. He attacks defense. All right. Like I said, if we lose this game to San Diego, which they're desperate, San Diego is desperate for a win. We're desperate for a win. Okay, this game's going to, this is the season right here. This is the season. Because if you look carefully, um, I, I look through all the Green Bay um, stats, and the best they're going to finish is 11-5. The best they're going to finish. Green Bay is 11 to 5. Uh, the best um, Vikings are going to finish is 10 and 6. The best uh, New, um, Detroit is going to finish is uh, with 8 wins. Maybe 9. Maybe 9. But I say 8. Okay. We only got 3 losses. All right. 
we can lose one more and still win the division. Okay? Listen to me carefully now. The Bears can lose one more and still win the division. All right? Let's not make it San Diego. Let's take care of business San Diego and go on down the line. All right, get it turned around, Coach Nagy. Get it turned around. All right, this is, uh, I'm not saying this is my final video because I have heart. I have faith in the Bears, okay? We're going to win against San Diego. We're going to win against Philadelphia. We're going to win against Detroit. Let's take one, one game at a time. Beat San Diego, okay? All right, guys. I took a lot, of, I took a lot of time. Hey, Wolf. Hey, Wolf. Um, go Bears. Bear down. Bear family. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. But do what I say. Other guys want to run the ball. Our offensive line wants to run the ball. A quarterback's best friend is a great running game. Do oh, you hear me? A quarterback's best friend is a great running game. <laughs> hey, man. Go Bears. Bear down.